Dick by Sam Trout, who's there? Barnardo, number Dick 365 transmission 168 through 166. Secret by the same vested interests who control our destiny. Who are these vested interests and what are they up to? Well, Senator, you were talking about a military junta. In my opinion, that is true, but I have broadened and deepened the definition uh, to cabal, and the cabal comprises members of the three sisters, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Bilderbergers, and the Trilateral Commission, the International Banking Cartel, the Oil Cartel, members of various intelligence organizations, and select members of the military unit who together have become a shadow government of not only the United States, but of much of the Western world. Laws are true, and those who attack them don't understand the beauty when the wheels hum and it's all greased, smooth, vibrating, and trickling along the sidewalls, how moist they tense at the upper limits of which music is the thunder against silence falling to pieces. The aim of the game is a world government comprising members of the cabal who are elected by no one and accountable to no one. And according to Mr. Rockefeller, the plan is well advanced. M. L. T.'s sons Neil. Does this help you to understand why our civil rights are being taken away from us? So here we are more than a decade later fighting another war that can't be won. There is no country on earth powerful enough to protect its citizens against fanatical hate, as we learn from the Boston Marathon. And the mere attempt to pursue the impossible pits neighbor against neighbor and the state power structure against everyone. All of the freedoms won by the millions of men and women who fought and died in World War II are being flushed in unceremoniously down the drain. The only hope of peace is a negotiated settlement. This will require a paradigm shift in American attitudes. It involves a de, de facto renunciation of the plan for a new American energy and the adoption of a pledge of cooperation with all humankind to build the kind of world which we are collectively capable of. Young people everywhere need to be challenged by a noble cause. They need to be involved in arresting global warming, creating a banking system that is just and sustainable, and lead the way in the transformation to the new reality that we have to live in harmony with our celestial neighbors as well as seeking peace on earth. Where were we? In a word, we have to become spiritual beings and practice the one tenet that the world's major religions have in common, and that is the golden rule. End transmission.